What is up you guys, it's Vale Tele here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now I hope I'm just feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. Tonight's item awesome shop will be taking us from Sunday, the 1st of October, into the Monday morning of the 2nd of October. So, jumping straight in. As you guys can see, last night we had the brand new Chop Sticks Locker Bundle. I did, over, I did already cover it in its own, is it, is it not worth it, on the video. We had the Autumn Item Shop. We had the featured store with the Volume 11, the Galaxy Pack, the Stormlight, the Falcon Clan, the Daily Store. But what we're getting today in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Pardon me, pardon me, that happened at the worst moment. Jumping straight in, we have a brand new Icon Series emote, Starlit. Buster Move by Moonlight. I know that emote, yeah. I've heard, I've heard that before. Really, really cool icon series emote, but we move on to the return of some Halloween favourites. So, starting us off, we have the return of the punk skin. Smashing. Part of the Carving Crew set. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. You guys know the Marvel season. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. I love the light. There's just nothing but flame in his eyes. So, moving us on to the back bling, we have the Squash Bats. Extra batty. Yes, we do have two harvesting tools on the um, on the bat bling. Moving us onto the harvesting tool itself, we have the bash burner, pumpkin powered bat o lantern. Right, let's see the swing animation. Nice, really really cool. So you can pull the bash burner pickaxe off the squash um, bats bat bling. So if you have them both equipped, as you guys can see, obviously the back bling is already there on the right hand side. But I like that. Moving us on to the return of the skin I already own, the patch. Carve out your plane, sorry, carve out your place in the night. Part of the carving crew set. Two styles. We have the default here. We then have the colour variant to have the white, which is absolutely amazing. Also love the fact that we have a style option to have the hat on, or sorry, the helmet on and the helmet off. Looking very, very cool. Moving us on to the back, the back bling, we have the Spiced Sippers. They're all, sorry, yes, they're all for me. Gee, pumpkin spice lattes, anyone? Moving us on to the pumpkin wrap. Not animated or reactive, but again, suits the skins very well. As you guys can see, oh, as you guys can see, I can cycle through various different weapon models that you guys can see on screen. Again, I do apologize, some of those mod weapon models are like really zoomed in. Moving us on to the harvesting tools, we have the carvers. Man, I hate cutting a pumpkin. You know, you get the cheap pumpkin kits where you have the little ones and they just they just bend as soon as you cut something. We have the carvers. Carve them up. Let's see the swing animation. Nice. Moving us swiftly on to the return of the featured store where we have the Underland Nexus bundle. I have already covered this in its own Is It Is It Not Worth It bundle video, but let's not take away from the fact that it is a really, really cool bundle. Moving us on to the return of the Outback and Beyond bundle. Again, another really, really cool bundle. If you guys know me, I have a history with this skin. Oh. My mic fell out, sorry about that. So yeah, I have a history with this skin. It was always like, I'd have the V-Bucks, but then the bundle, the skin wouldn't come back. And then when the skin came back, I didn't have the V-Bucks. So yeah, I have a really bit of a relationship with this bundle. I have already covered it in its own, is, is it or not worth it, is it or is it not worth it bundle video. Moving us swiftly on to the return of the Daily Store. Starting us off, we have the return of the Astra, Astra skin. A constellation of skill and talent. Part of the Shooting Stars set, first introduced in the OG Chapter 2 Season 1. <clears throat> Two styles, we have the default, which I like to call the constellation. And then we have the ultimate, which is the star style. Moving us on, pardon me, to the back bling, we have the shining star. Follow the wave. Obviously a bit of a twist on the north star, the brightest star in the sky. Moving us on to the return of the assault trooper. Default assault trooper. Uncommon assault trooper outfit. First introduced in OG season one. Moving us on to the items in the daily store, we have the return of the B.I.G. Notorious B.I.G. It was all a dream lobby music. Press play and don't let them hold you down. Really, really cool. Again, you guys know I can't play that for too long through the copyright. Moving us on to the return of the worker emote. Split the dance floor. First introduced OG season nine. If you guys remember, this was. Um, this comes from a NFL um, referee 
being on the sidelines, doing a dance, I believe. Really, really cool. Moving us on to the return of the Traversal Billy Bounce. You do you, first introduced now, OG Season 9. Everybody in their mom's probably, probably got this already. Moving us on to the return of the synchronized emote, Autograph, please. Now, obviously, well, we can see somewhat what the emote's like, but pretty much self explanatory. You do a synchronized emote, you do this synchronized emote, and someone's pretty much going to sign uh, what seems to be a picture of a battle bus for you. Really, really cool. Introduced not that long ago. Moving us on to the rest of the item shop, we have the Maddie NF's Locker Bundle. We also have the Autumn Item Shop still with us. We still have the Celebrating Women um, free items. We then have the Everyday Magic Bundle, the Star Skirmish Bundle, the Legendary Volcanic Assassin Bundle, the Starlit Galaxy Bundle. We also have the return of some more offers, pretty much more female skins. We had the brand new Chopsticks Locker Bundle last night. As you guys can see, brand new, we have the Triarch Aura, sorry, the Triarch or Aurora's Level Up Quest Pack. Now, this is brand new. I am going to be going through this in its own is it, is it not worth it for the video, but we have, oh, 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 this skin. So starting us off, we have the Triarch or, or Aurora. You cannot stop the dawn. Part of the Triarch set, first introduced brand new tonight. So we can have a look at her styles. So this is the default. We then have the alternate, which is the protector armor, which looks absolutely amazing. So obviously this is a female version of the Triarch Nox skin. Really, really cool. As you guys can see, yeah, you've got to complete 28 um, Triarch Aurora quests to get this. So this will be available um, within week five. So drops around the 20, 23rd of October. But it literally, looking at it, reminds me of like a Power Rangers villain. Moving us on, we have the challenges. Again, I'm going to go through these, but these are pretty self-explanatory if you've done this before. Four sets of quests that contain seven level up token collections. Uh, 28 um, quests in total. Quests will remain available until the season end, which is November the 3rd. Remaining quests will come on a weekly basis. You earn one guaranteed level up um, token per collected, and then you unlock cosmetic rewards upon completing the um, set of quests. So, moving on to the Bapling, we have the Dawn Aegis. Sorry, I can't even, I can't zoom in. It does, there you go. Forged at the heart of a new star. Jeez, looks really, really cool. And I'm trying to scroll down the description. It's also zooming the babbling in. Uh, moving us on to the wrap, we have the Blazing Dawn. It is reactive. I don't know how it's reactive. Oh, okay, so when we trigger the weapon, jeez, we've got a nice little light of a red there. Really, really cool. I can cycle through various different weapon models that you guys can see on screen here. Last but not least, we have the Harvesting Tool, the Sunrise Spear, Decimate the Dark. Let's see that swing animation. <laughs> I wonder how many pole arms we have in the game. I don't think we have that many. Really, really cool. So yeah, guys, that was the brand new Triarch Aurora's level of quest pack. You guys know I'm going to be covering this on my TikTok and on my um, YouTube. Anyway, moving us on to last but not least, we have the special offers and bundles. But guys, really, really cool item shop. We have a brand new Icon Series emote. We have the brand new level of quest pack. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below why you like this video. Also, let me know are you guys going to be grabbing the level up quest pack and what is your favorite item and bundle from tonight's item shop. But anyway, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join tonight's catch up vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch the bell notifications to get notifications upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay by me and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.